you are going through that negative energy and you're experiencing something negative, that certain parts of your brain flare up. welcome back to my channel today's video I'm really pumped for because it is focused on the brain I don't have drums sound effects I don't know why I did that okay so today's video is going to be about my favorite dr. Daniel Amen and on his website he has a breakdown of seven ways to optimize your brain to get the best brain function. Let's get into it. Okay, so our brain. Our brain is a three pound supercomputer, which I'm sure of us know about. Look, we are a mental health channel. We have to point this out. Some may not know. And again, I do have all the items I use in my videos listed below, in case anyone was wondering. All right, our brain controls everything about us, right? It's a super computer. They call it that for a reason. And what might that reason be? I am so glad you asked me. So, uh, should we use a brush for my eyeballs today? We're gonna go for it, just warming it up. Okay, so our brain, it controls the way you think, the way you act, and determines you, your personality and your identity. So if you want to change something, you will have to start with, you guessed it, your brain. This is going to be a long one, I can already tell. Oh, and uh, if you can hear that lawnmower in the background, I am so sorry. I am not waiting on him to be done mowing his lawn before I film. We are on a time crunch. We got things to do, people to see. Fun to be had. I know you liked it. Corny jokes are over. It is because we have 100 billion cells and 86 billion neurons in our brain, which I feel like is unrealistic. The fact that our brains are supercomputers. I mean, have you really thought about that? You should. So when you do things that impact this and that destroy cells, then your brain is not functioning to the best of its ability. So things like smoking cigarettes, or stressing out or losing sleep. It all alters your brain because things like that destroy your brain cells. Okay, and obviously I'm not a doctor. I'm not a psychologist or therapist. I did not go to school for this. I just use good old Google, okay? So um, we will put a disclaimer in the description box below for people who want to say otherwise. So what I'm getting at are the seven ways to optimize your brain. If you wanna to learn to enhance your brain and enhance your life, follow along, take notes, grab your phone or pen and paper, maybe your computer, whichever method you prefer, but take notes. Oh, and if you, um, if you don't know who Dr. Daniel Amen is, I will, link him below. I've done other videos on him that I can put up top if you want to catch up on those videos. But he is a psychologist with a degree and he goes over everything that has to do with the brain. He even has clinics set up all over the U.S. So I will link his website below in case anyone's wondering. So number one, protect your brain. Make sure you get enough sleep. And he definitely put this one first for a reason, which I feel like I need to do better at. I need to get more sleep. Another reason to protect your brain, when you're riding a bike or a motorcycle, go ahead and wear a helmet, your protective gear. You need that. Be safe. 
okay? Another reason, protect your brain. You have to be mindful when you play certain sports like football, hockey, or even soccer, anything that, anything involved where your head is going to be injured basically. And you have to be careful with putting certain substances into your body, like when you smoke cigarettes, or if you have too much caffeine, all of that can affect your brain. Number two, you have to feed your brain. Since a lot of us struggle with energy and just having mental clarity, try eating healthier foods when you wake up. So a lot of people say breakfast is a very important meal. And the only reason breakfast is an important meal is because usually it's the first meal you have from fasting all night. So not eating all night. So whether that's breakfast or lunch, I'm not too picky. Whatever your schedule allows you to do, try eating a healthier meal first. And then also try adding a mineral and a vitamin supplement to kind of like give you an extra boost throughout the day. It will give your brain fuel that it needs. Number three is kill the ants. And ANTS is Dr. Amen's acronym for Automatic Negative Thoughts. So under this, he goes over how he's done research or he talks about someone else's research, I can't remember. But research shows that when you are going through that negative energy and you're experiencing something negative, that certain parts of your brain flare up. Like what? Did you hear me? Do I need to say it again? Let, let me say it again. When you're experiencing some kind of negative energy, certain parts of your brain flare up. That is wild. So it's also the same with being happy and staying calm. That lights up other areas of your brain. So we want the good kind. We don't want the bad kind. So with this being said, Dr. Amen has identified nine different kinds of ants, the automatic negative thoughts. And in this article or website listing that he made up, he listed three of them, four of them. He listed four of them. So the first ant would be mind reading. That's when you start assuming things and trying to assume what other people are thinking. Like you don't ever want to do that. That's a terrible thing to do because somebody could be acting a certain way because of what they're going through. And if you start assuming and automatically start thinking, oh, it's because I did something, you're assuming you're completely off. So don't assume. Number two is fortune telling. So when you start predicting failure before you've even experienced that situation that you're predicting failure for, which is definitely not good. Don't wanna do that. Number three, always or never thinking. Thoughts that are overgeneralized. So you basically saying you never take the dog out or you always treat me like this. Try not to do those types of situations. Number four is guilt beatings, which is his example of like beating yourself up. Like, oh, I should have done better, or I have to do this, or I'm bad because X, Y, and Z. Try not to do those because all of these are bad. They're all negative and you should be your number one supporter. You should be cheering yourself on. Even if it's something small like telling yourself you did a good job because at least you tried. Just a thought, a good thought. Then he goes into some tips, like you don't have to believe every thought you think, which I know a lot of people have heard before. So again, it's another reminder, like our brains and the, our mind, our brains and our mind operate so differently from one another and it's hard for this to like it's hard for advice to be so i guess
guess, spot on for everyone. So obviously everyone will be different. So again, take things you hear and read and see with a grain of salt because the whole thing might not apply to you or it could be your number one tip you will tell everybody about. It just all depends. And learn to do your own research. I feel like I've had to learn that the hard way and I'm still struggling a little bit with that. So that's why I like this channel. It gives me that time and that reason to look into things further, you know? Research is never a bad thing. So number four is work your brain. So by learning something new, it enhances blood flow. And we need good blood flow to our brains because it delivers the amount of oxygen, nutrients, and energy that it needs to work at its best capacity, basically. So try learning something new. I have been learning how to roller skate and that is, like I know the basics and I know how to stay on them, but I know nothing else. And so that, like learning that has been super fun. And the second thing new that I have done is I went to a gun range. That was different. If anybody wants to have a story time, let me know because I will share all about that experience. So he says if you go long periods of time without learning something new, then you lose that connection in your brain. And that's why it's healthy to keep that connection there. Because you want to use your brain at full capacity, people. I should probably put some brows on, huh? Oh, I need that lighting to go away a slight lighting situation and a lawnmower situation number five make love for your brain so I'm talking to the adults for number five okay adult only so you heard it right this is sexy time also known as sexy time no have a little fun. Life is boring when you don't have fun, okay? So studies show that regular sexual contact with your partner enhances the emotional and physical well-being of a woman. And it shows that higher estrogen levels improves the brain. I know, right? It's kind of weird. Kind of cool too. That enhancing estrogen levels through regular sexual activity enhances your overall brain activity and improves your memory. And it's because of intimacy and physical touch, not just the occurrence of orgasms. So think about that one. I mean, I guess they both could help though, right? I might not have mastered the eyeshadow blend, but I'm starting to master these eyebrows. That is a small win, and I am proud of it. I really need to figure out a new setup. Natural light, people. It's the best, but it's the worst. Okay, anyways. All right. Number six, develop a concert state for your brain. So what he means by this is you need a relaxed body with a sharp and clear mind. So you need skills like deep relaxation and focus. Or you can learn how to belly breathe, which there are tutorials on YouTube. Or if you prefer to listen to music to kind of calm you down, that's an option too. And with focus, he tells you to try his one page miracle exercise, okay? And so what you do is you write down these headings, relationships, work, school, money, physical, emotional health, and spiritual health. So write down those headings 
and under each one you would write down your goals and what you want to see from them. So for his example, he put for relationships, you want kind and loving relationships with your kids is just one example basically, obviously. Okay, and then ask yourself, is your behavior getting you what you want? So it's kind of like a constant reminder to keep yourself in check for what's really important and it keeps you focused and it reminds you not to settle like go for what you want in life i love that and number seven is treat your brain problems early so people wait too long after the damage has already been done and it gives a percentage 49 percent of americans are dealing with something whether it's anxiety depression physical abuse substance abuse emotional abuse that is one percent away from half of the population don't wait to ask for help. All right, the lighting situation, I hope is not a wreck. So those are the seven ways to optimize your brain. And he does bring up some good points. Um, I would assume he would because he's the psychologist, he's the doctor. But if you want it and you are willing to put in the work, then go for it. You deserve to live. You don't just deserve to exist in this life. You deserve to live. So fight for it. And he tells you your life can only improve with an optimized brain. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. And if you made it all the way to the end, tell me which one was your favorite, one through seven. Again, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. I need a catchphrase. It's a big catchphrase. Tragic. Sir, I am trying to film a YouTube video. I really need to get it together. Why am I struggling so bad today? Why do I keep waving this around like it's a wand? I'm just off today. I don't know what's happening. Guess we'll figure out when I'm done filming. I've learned a lot from uh, having this YouTube channel. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Oh, and I'm sweating. Okay, so like you saying, you, uh, oh, guy with the lawnmower came back. Anybody else just love concealer? <laughs> Especially the moms out there. Things work wonders. <sighs> Sir, any day now. So I guess everybody just wants to mow their daggum long today. I guess we're gonna have a lot of this, huh? Cause it's about to be spring and summer. This is not cute. So, blah, 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 blah. Brain activity. <laughs> uh that enhancing estrogen levels. Why can I not remember this? Maybe I should just read off the paper. Today has been a day. <sighs> One of these days, I'm gonna have a camera. <laughs>